Oh, I love it. We're in a new world, new series. I can't wait to get started. We're doing a more intellect focused run this time around. This series is called Big Brain Play. Settings are on the screen now. It's warrior, always run, loot respawn off, 64 max alive, all that good stuff. And if you're interested in the seed and so on, I'm going to put details of that on the screen now. Just a little 6k map. The reason we've gone for a 6k map this time around is because last time I was on an 8k, all the tier 6 infestation quests were a million miles away from me and it was very difficult to get them done without a gyrocopter. So hopefully the 6k map kind of changes that. So even if they are far away, they won't be as far away, right? So I'm going to bang out these starter quests, just smash them through, uh, and then we'll come back as I'm putting the campfire down. And we'll go see where this uh, trader is. Okay, so down goes the campfire, symbolically on top of that building block. And the trader's 400 meters that way. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Let's go. Pedal to the metal, full steam ahead. Let's get over there. Oh yeah, skill points. So what we want to do is two points there, two points into electrocutioner. I like to rush my melee skill as much as possible. And we will need, I think it's, was it glue and stuff? Uh, pipes, obviously. Oh, just a uh, pipe and leather for a pipe baton. Okay, we need to try and get a bit of leather as well and some pipes on the way. If possible, lots of stones here. Uh, oh, that's a lot of wood right there. Oh, and a tree stump. Oh, the smokehouse. Tier 1 quest. Well, I can see a vulture up there, so let's take care of that thing. But this looks like a good pit stop just to grab a bit of easy loot, hopefully. If I can hit this damn thing. There it goes. See a crawl there. Right, who else is here, please? Probably want to harvest this thing, right? That gives us enough bones for a bow knife. Wonderful. All right, nobody's here, apparently. It's fine by me. Ooh, pipes. Yes. Shotgun weekly. Oh, there's some lead. I'll tell you what we can do with lead this series. As soon as we get it, just immediately craft it into robotic turret ammo. And then see how much we get by the time we get a robotic turret. Why do we do that? Oh, there's a honey. Fantastic. The chicken soup. It'd be silly not to grab all this wood as well, wouldn't it? Excellent. I make 37 arrows, why not? I'm looking here, zombie. Please don't be anything too tough. Oh, okay. Get a nice little bleed on you. There he goes. Right, wooden crate, what have you got? Uh, oh, there's a water purifier mod. We haven't got a helmet anyway. But everyone tells me it's meant to be used that way, so, you know. Who am I to argue with early game and limited water? If that's what the devs want, that's what I'll do. Vehicle Adventures, wiring 101. Okay, now uh, what's in here? Cool, all right, we just need some leather then. And we have a pipe baton. Tom. That's awesome. Let's uh, keep an eye out for rabbits on the way. Oh, nice. Pretty decent stuff there. We're very encumbered right now. Got to be careful. Oh, glue. Yes, yes, yes. We've had a great trip to the trader, haven't we? There's two tree stems over here. We'll remember that. Really haven't got time to be chopping them down now with this weak axe. Oh, yes. A bit of egg hype. Right. She's a fast one there. Old Arlene. Here we go. Take a couple of storage boxes there. Ooh, mechanical part. Two more glue. Friendship sandwich. Which is what we now call the sham sandwich on this channel. Oh! Oh, come on, stamina. Oh, I'm so encumbered. I don't think I'm getting this rabbit. Nah, no, too encumbered. No point just wasting loads of time doing something I can't achieve. Ooh, more lead. Is this one of those ones? It has zombies spawned on it? Oh, yes, it is. Probably a little encumbered to be dealing with this. Right down he goes. Let's 
just get everything checked away here. One Molotov could come in. Very handy, actually. Alright, great. Let's go see Wrecked. It would be Trader Wrecked, wouldn't it? Typical. Anything in these? Quick here. Daylight's burning. Kind of pairs, okay. There's a cement mixer. With a forger headbook. We can make a DU collector now. That's good. Chemistry station is that? Yes. Ooh, yes. Chrysanthemum. We need that. A little bit of egg hype. More polymer in the workbench. Another forger head in the workbench. We like. Two repair kits. That's decent. And it's got all these birds nest with uh, hopefully birds eggs. Well, yeah, one egg. That's not too bad. Hello, Recti Poo. He loves being called Recti Poo. Uh, right, what have we got here? Home cooking, we'll probably want to pick up a decent amount of eggs and stuff as well. He's got meat stew, sham chowder. Okay, we shouldn't go hungry then. Oh, he's got a wrench. Quality one wrench. That's great. That's a big choke point early game. Cobble, cement. He's got decent stuff. Right, what have you got for us? I've got work. The Richmond Residence. All right, hopefully they've got something made of leather for us so we can actually, you know, craft our weapon of choice here. That'd be nice. Get this stuff checked away. Keep the pairs. Let's go. Hello, easy XP. Andy Land, eh? Right, here we are. Mm, there's a car and a workbench down here. I know this is not the way you're supposed to go, but... Tantalizing. It might have good loot for me. I hope this isn't too crazy in here with the, um, you know, trigger spawns, crowds, and stuff like that. What I need! Oh, I know this one. It is a bit crazy. So it looks to me like there might be one there. Nope. First on Clark. And that guy. Oh, yes! Cooking pot. Stealth one out of the window then. I got mega excited. Okay. Well, that's a big day one hurdle. I don't have to spend 600 on a cooking pot now. Oh, these hop seeds are just everywhere, this alpha. Crazy. I've had a couple of people confirm to me that it's happening to them as well, so it's not just a weird, strange thing that's happening to me. Right, so I guess I'm supposed to come this way. Take them. This way, please. Stop crawling. Darn it. So well, there goes the hit. Need stamina. The irritating thing where two zombies are just too many. Especially when you've got a tank. You're kidding me. I'm going to have to use this really early on just because I can't cope with two zombies right now. I'm sprained leg. That's so annoying. I've got no steroids. I've got nothing to deal with that with. I'm going to have to just hurt myself every time I jump. I guess try and get some hit points back there. Thing is, there's going to be even more zombies in an end room somewhere here. There's no way I'm going to be able to deal with them. What a terrible thing to happen to you so early on. Oh, nice. I'll tell you what is good here, though. We can wear this. And then we've uh, got our water problem solved. It's like one zombie up here, isn't it? Oh, two. Two might be a bit much. Oh, you're like stuck. Okay. We did it. It was painful, but we did it. Home cooking, chicken soup. Urban combat. Craft military stealth boots. All right, maybe we will. Oh, there's some leather. We need two more leather and we can craft a pipe baton. 
Forge your head. And there's a speaker. That's a random thing to find. Grab the cloth. We have got time to do more. It's just the stupid sprain. Really kind of messing things up right now. It's not like I can even put my next point into position, is it? Oh, I could. Okay. Put something them. We're pretty close to leveling. Craft AP robotic turret ammo. All right. Maybe I will. I think we dropped her. That's good. Well, I'm not getting many of the things I've specced into his books, am I? I thought that was supposed to be the way it worked. I'm getting nothing of it, in fact. All right, nice. We've got that bunny. So now... We can make a pipe baton. That's something. There's a thug. Why does the game seem to spawn the worst possible zombie on you? We've got a cooking pot. That's nice. We've got the cheat mod, which is the water purifier, which is nice. Any bodies of water nearby? Yeah, just down here. Let's test out this baton, then, I guess. Nice. Lightly cheesed, but it's because I've, uh, you know, got a sprained leg and everything. How'd you make a splint? Duck to save, we can't make one. Tank cloth, two wood, one duck to tape. Okay. I'll take the ammo and hope we get a pipe machine gun somewhere. Jobs, clear zombies, pal residents. All right, there's a skill point. So if I go one into physician. Splints and casts cure sprains instantly. I don't particularly want to be spending that point on that this early on. This is just crippling. It's like it's got a chokehold over the playthrough at the moment. Uh, we've got this. We've got cloth on us already. Ten cloth if needed, right? So we should be able to make one duct tape for ten cloth here. I have 19 left over. Splint. Craft that. Use that. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. I'm a fan of that change. Right, nearest water source would be just this ditch down here, actually. It's probably going to be the one with no zombies. So now we're able to run again. Let's go and um, get some perfectly balanced water that the devs don't see as an exploit. Why are you everywhere today, girl? What's going on? There we go. 100 worth of water. Yeah, so I've made the decision. I, I went to the forums and everything and raised it because I thought it was a bug. Because I was like, this is just, you know, this is supposed to be the alpha update where water's a struggle. The dev's own words, we don't want it to be an all-you-can-drink water buffet day one. That's why we removed glass jars. I raised it over there and Mad Mole himself responded to my uh, query saying, red tea is better and blackstrap coffee is better. Um, that mod's not that good. And that's the, you know, the main developer, so completely intentional, they don't see it as an issue because uh, they think it, the water purifier isn't as good as red tea and coffee. That's the reasoning I got given. I don't understand how that doesn't make it an all-you-can-drink water buffet if you get that mod. It's twice I've got it now in two series on day one, so it's not difficult. My last series I got at day one, this series I got at day one. Both times, I've effectively had free unlimited water from the get-go. Because they said it's meant to be that way, I'm going to use it. Uh, 50% chance for power attacks to instantly charge stun batons. That's great. That's one of the best books you can get. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is the one with the slightly confusing path inside, but it's not too bad. It's only a quick tier one. Oh, there's a tire. That's nice. Only problem is we've got these Bernie dudes in here. They're pretty quick. Come on, up here. Let's try and do this one relatively quickly if we can. Make up for the lost time we suffered after that sprain. Oh, he was a bit tanky. Ooh, hello. Bit of free wood here. Right, that's one of them down. Oh, that's three power attacks missed. That's no good. And there's a hit. He was just in a very difficult spot for me to get a good connection. Then he ducked. Nice. Oh, that's very nice. Well, this is obsolete, but we'll take it anyway. 
in case we don't want to make the trip to the uh, ditch one day and drink that disgusting ditch water that gives us unlimited hydration. Thanks to our magic mod. Ooh, more repair kits. That's another wheel. That's nice. 7 p.m. So from memory, this is not the right way. But I always struggle to find the path to this bit, I think. Jump in now. Get the zombie. And then it's up there. There's a ladder right there. I remember that much. Ah, okay. So we're just jumping through this bit. That's the step I'm missing. But yeah, the beauty of this now, this water purify mod, I can save every single water for crafting glue. Which again, they don't see as a balance issue. That's fine. I'll exploit it then. Ooh, jacket. Yeah, every single bit of water we've got is getting saved to craft lots and lots and lots and lots of glue. Should be a zombie jumping out of the ceiling here. Come on. There we go. What have we got? Oh, it had to be this one again, didn't it? Typical. Crossbow. Oh, the first aid bandage is beautiful. We need to use one. I was holding off because I don't want to, you know, use my emergency one. Pasta. Yeah, we're pretty hungry. All of that. And job's done. So we dropped on here. Hit this. And we're out of there. Beautiful. Wasn't too bad that time. Because I remembered the wrong way to go. How much lead are we up to? Oh, we can make quite a lot of robotic terror ammo there. Tools digest. So I'm marking out as water on the map there. We click on this and then it appears on our compass. And then we know that's where we go for our um, twice daily 1 to 200 water consumption. Pretty nice. Quite a lot of decent loot here. That's good. Come on, give me something good wrecked. All right, so cobble. That is good, but we can buy up that. These Molotovs could be lifesavers, quite frankly. Crafting skill magazines are tempting, but I'm taking the Molotovs just because they really could save our lives. I'll take this clear zombies. We're not going to go and do it now, unless it's super close. How close is it? Just down here. That is a quick quest. Yeah, let's just run to it. Let's go. Ooh, a hunting knife. Not bad. Right, it's coming up for 9 p.m. This is, uh, so we're definitely going to be stuck out after 10. Hopefully we'll be okay. Nice. Start it. There's a lot of bones right there. Hey, party girl. Tanky. Wow, speaking of tanky. Three person there. Nice. Well, it's just in here. Nice. Ooh, stone shovel. Decent. Right, nice big food pile. Ooh, yes. And we've unlocked goldenrod, tea, and cornbread. Lucky as. Hey, there's a tech planet book. Pipe it on quality too. All right. Lucky Looter, find more Dukes. There's some pears. We'll just eat them. We'll wear this. Let's go. Oh, hang on. You stupid rabbit. Can't get used to looting lead, you know. Oh, nice. Got him in one. Munitions box into there. Decent. We have a quick stop off at the perfectly balanced water. Just to get the most out of the perfect balance, you've got to get at least a hundred. Just to make it worth your time, you know. Ooh, a random purse out in the wild here. Right, Benny's down. That was the real threat. Please don't be feral.
I'm pretty screwed with a feral right now. Nice, nah, got a deer. This hunting knife feels pretty powerful. I've got five repair kits. I might just repair it and keep using that. I would like to get rid of some of these view blocking trees from my immediate area. I'm gonna make myself a little fighting perch in case we do get a feral. Something to jump on quickly. Bit of big hitters there and there. I don't like this guy milling about so close. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. He stood in a campfire and caught fire. It reminds me, I need to kind of clear that up. Nice, no zombies in here. Thought there'd be a crawler for sure. Lots of good cloth. We have aloe cream. And a bit of murky water, sure. Well, that's much better around here now. At least immediately where I am. We can see if zombies are approaching. Or snakes. I think I'd like to get my stuff up off the floor then. Since we've got a decent amount of wood. We've got a thousand. Do like a hundred frames. Uh, let's make a quality two pipe on. We might as well. Every little bit helps. And we're gonna start moving up here. I know what you're thinking. It's just another stupid little platform. I do intend to make a nice base this season. So, but I just have to start out basic. But I've moved it back a bit here. So I can kind of do things with it. I've got a basic idea in my head of what I want to do. You just have to trust me. All right, so just put the cooking pot in here. Excellent. I do believe we're kind of sorted out. Do that there. That's our light source right there. Uh, all right, so thank you so much for joining me in this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do let me know by leaving a like down below. If you're new here and you're enjoying the content, why not subscribe today? Big special thank you to the Ball of Famers. I don't have them up yet in this series. I'll do it as soon as I can, but I'll put a screenshot up to the previous one. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for supporting the channel via Patreon and via YouTube channel memberships. Thanks also to my subscribers over on Twitch. You guys are amazing. You can catch us on Twitch three days a week. Times are on screen now. Replays on the second channel under the feature channel section of this one. Thanks so much. Have a good one. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.